crafting friends welcome back it's Angela here and I hope that you're all doing really really well on this glorious sunshiny day here um today I've got a little project to share with you it's really a quick and easy one but I just love how this has come out come out so I hope that you're keen to give this a go yourself and put it into your journals whatever the theme might be now as you know I'm working on my lilac lovelies journals so i have made a little mock-up here for you and then i'm going to take you through how we're going to make this and i think this is going to make a great storage um option in your on your journal pages and i'm going to show you what it is now you all know the sort of coin envelope option and i've done that as a closure over here i've got a little uh flap i nearly said lid <laughs> at the top here and then we have got our little concertina uh, sorry concertina pockets down at the top there where you can fit absolutely anything in them so that's what we're going to have a look at today this is a lot easier to make than it looks so i hope that you are keen to follow along so that's what we're going to do now you can make this any size you want it all depends on the length of the paper that you use so let me take you through that all right so I'll just put this one to the side over here at the top and talk you through what you need right so the first thing you need are two sheets of paper now it doesn't matter if it's a4 or it's us size because ultimately we're putting it onto either an a4 if we're using a4 or an a4 um a 8.5 or 11 sheet in any case but either way uh, it's not going to affect the outcome so I took a whole sheet now these are sheets that I had which were misprints so I have just used them because I set my margins wrong here so <laughs> I have just and um, also I didn't print the right things on the right bits I think that's what it was so I've got this page which is one of the pages can see i've got a broad piece of white there but it's not going to matter um so this is one of them on the other side there's this you don't need to have anything printed on the underside this is really going to be the inside of the pocket and if you do want something just take a stencil and stencil a pattern and the top sort of two inches of your page there and there that's what i would suggest um but you don't need to it's just because it was already printed that i'm using this right so i'm using this one but any sheet of paper is going to do and then i've got this one here as well so those are the two i'm going to use this as my outside page and this is my outside page so all you need to do is let's start with this one and i want to grab my bone folder i'm i'm i eyeballed this you want to bring these to the center so i'm just sort of guessing about halfway more or less there so you're turning up a third of your paper and you want to just get that like that doesn't matter if it's not exactly right this is so easy really now what you do want to do is um, depending on how wide you want this I am going to just turn this over a quarter of an inch so a quarter of an inch is just short of a centimeter about three quarters of a centimeter all right so that's it you're not going to need to worry too much about that i'm then just going to go like that we're not going to see the inside so it doesn't matter all right so there's the first one how easy is that now we're going to do the same with the second one we're going to turn it over again you don't need to have it printed on the inside i'm turning up about a third here and, and again i'm just eyeballing this <laughs> like that and i'm going to just turn it around and again just overlap it again by a quarter of an inch make sure you line the pages up here properly and then just get it like that all right so i'll have that one underneath that one on top all right now all you need to do is take your glue any glue that you use for paper I'm going to lift that one side up and on the under flap so this one's going to flap on um, flap lie on top of that piece of paper i just want to put some glue down the middle here 
bead of glue, there we go. And we're going to just stick that like that. All right. And you're gonna do the same with this one. Now, I think that these would be great to um, store photographs in for the size of them and the shape, or postcards or secret letters. And I love secret compartments. So <laughs> this is right up my street. This would make a beautiful gift for somebody. You could put all sorts of bits of journaling bits in the pockets. I really think it's a great option. Okay, so we've got that. Now, let that one dry a little bit. Let's close off on the um, glue. Right, now what you want to do is you want to fold this in half. Keep the, the seam to the inside now. And uh, just meet up those two corners there nicely. And once you've got that, you can just get that folded in half now i am using 160 gsm paper or 60 pound weight you could use this with something slightly thinner but i do like to use this all right so that's what i've got there now you've got two pockets so far and now you want to do the same with this one keep the seam in the middle and just fold that in half like that and then I keep pulling this out because the paper's thick. Probably would work with slightly thinner paper, but I only use this paper. Okay, so you've got this and you've got this. So what I thought I might do with this one is you might want to give it um, some thumb notches. So I've got a one and a half inch circle punch. You could use this because that makes a great notch as well if you've got one of those whatever you have or a smaller one whatever you have or just draw a circle and cut it out with your scissors i am going to cut the one because it's paper is quite thick so i'm just going to cut the one then i'm going to take my pencil i think because i might make a mess of it otherwise just so that I have that as a guide now so that they are all going to line up. So there we go. I just put that on the guide. Paper shooting everywhere and now it's matched up. I th I'll try it. I'll try and do two of them. Let's just see now. If I put this over there, line these ones up. And we do that. And now let's try both. Before I do both, I just noticed that this one's slightly uneven and that can happen. So what we'll do is we'll just trim that off so that it is even. Okay. All right. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. Yeah, it's a bit thick. It is a bit thick, so I do have to do it one by one. But if you were not using this thickness of paper, then it wouldn't be a problem. But it's easy just to put your pencil line there because I like my pencil lines. <laughs> they give me a lot of guidance. All right, so we've got that side. You need to just decide which side you prefer. You can have that side or you can have that side. Both sides are lovely. I quite like that bit of flower there. So I think I'll take this side. So now I'm going to just fit this one into this one. And you can either put some glue down here. Like, I'm not going to put the glue, but you can just put a bead of glue down there and stick that on top and peg it together. I'm going to go and stitch with my machine there and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we're back. I've just stitched across there. You can see in the middle, that's gonna keep that nice and solid together. I have just done a double stitch on each end, so it's not gonna unravel, but the glue would work perfectly well as well. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I want to just open each one of these up and just make it nice and flat like this. 
and then the same on this side gosh both sides are beautiful and the good news is we don't have to cover anything because everything's covered <laughs> but i'm going to stick with this one as my front and then our little notches are pretty much aligned there so that's great right now we're going to open that up and i'm going to use double-sided tape but glue works just as well yesterday i used both just to test it out and i can testify there that both work just as well but I'm going to just put some of this in the middle and I'm guesstimating and I'm running that up right to the edge there like that and then I'm going to just take my scissors which seem to have all sorts of fluff stuck on them what's that about okay so we've got that there and we're going to just take that off and we're going to just stick it down there we go look at that and then you're going to do the same with the next one so these are a great way to use up pieces of uh, paper great containers for gifts gift cards filled with little bits for happy mail you know all those sorts of lovely things bring a ray of sunshine to somebody's day is always wonderful for the giver and the receiver I think so I've got that and then we just do the last one so I'm sort of keeping it in the middle like that and the seam is sort of giving me a, a bit of a guide but I haven't got every one of them quite in the middle there or thereabouts so we just pick up the little red bit if you're wondering where this double-sided tape with the red edge comes from you can find it on my amazon favorites list it is great when you're wanting to see where you're doing something i do find it really handy okay so we've got everything done here now and look it's looking like a concertina pocket already so that's great right let's start with the lid now <laughs> see i said lid uh the flappy bit okay now what i want to do there is i've got two pieces don't worry about the underside printing now these two pieces are four inches by three inches so that's 10 centimeters by seven and a half approximately what you need to do is this is for an a4 if it's um a, a us letter just go and measure when you go like this what the width needs to be here you can see it's four inches but i think it might be four and a quarter if it's a us letter you'll just need to go and see but what i will tell you is that the the height of it for both will be three inches that's what i've worked out when i made it the first time so you want two pieces of paper and that's going to just give it um strength so i'm going to stick these two together in a minute um and 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 use that as a nice firm lid now before i do that i want a couple of things i've got to just talk through with you and that is i want to put on these little circles now all i do is i've taken i've cut out my one inch circle punch and um, some card and i've done it already with this one it's just take an inch of the card which i've cut out with my circle punch now my, my circle punch will not like it if i put too many layers on so i have to do this separately and then it's just take the color pattern that you want on top of your circle like that and then uh, just take my dauber and go around it like that so you've got those two then i've taken another two and this can be any paper it's just paper this I'm going to use for the the bottom so I'm just uh, it doesn't you're not going to see these but this is just to strengthen the little bit on this side here I've just put two pieces together I'm now going to stick this and get it right near the edge um, for this bit here now um, I've preempted this but <laughs> where have I got it yes I'll tell you how I get to that in a minute. Don't stick that down yet. It's just because I, I was jumping the gun. 
right let's take these little circles and i'm going to use my uh pokey tool the, the spellbinder one that lost its little feathers um <laughs> That annoyed me, the brush bit. But it's a, a much wider pokey tool than my other ones. So I need to find the center of this. So luckily with this one inch grid, it helps me do that because you can just line up the dots there with the dots there. And I think it's about there. So we'll do that. This is just a piece of foam. See a nice big hole there. And then the same with this one. So when I do it a second time, I'll just put the two together and then I can see where the one needs to be underneath. So there, that's how I'll do that. Okay, now in my, um, this is just my own little tin with a pile of things that I've collected over the years from my scrapbooking days. So it doesn't arrive like this. I'm sure if I had to work out how much all of this cost me, I'd have a heart attack. But it's just things I've accumulated over the years and I've just put them in colours. So <laughs> people often ask me, where do I get all of that? I didn't. I, it's just my own collections that I've thrown in there. Right, I've got these um, brads. So I've got some nice blue ones here. And I'm going to just push them through those holes with a card on the back. These are going to now form our little bits. Now, I, what I did here was... Um, I worked out with this one where I wanted it first of all. So take a piece of paper, take a, a little scrappy bit like that. And again, we want to, this is the right side. So I'm going to just put this on the wrong side. This is just to give it strength. And then I take my little circle i'm going to find the middle here so that's four inches here's the circle line and i'm putting that brad right on there like that now i know that that is where i want it and so i can now take that and get my hole through there now that has gone through the paper behind it's just strengthening that section there. We're going to put another piece on as well. So get that um, through there at the start like that. You've got enough room there to stitch if you want to. Um, get that through and then just split the little legs here like that. And then I like to take my bone folder and flatten those as much as possible in the middle there and then again just so that I don't ruin the other paper you're not going to see this circle again I'm just going to cover that up it just um, protects that rubbing those legs rubbing on the, the line of it that I'm going to stick on here all right so there's that one and now we can stick that spot side down so I'm not going quite to the edge because I will stitch around this one. You don't have to. Um, so I'm just going to stick that down like that. There we go. So this is going to make our little lid and we are going to bend it over our fingers in a moment. Then I have taken my edge rounder. And I'm just rounding the corners. And remember what I said to you. You can take anything like, for example, the lid of your Distress Ink. Draw it around there and make a little template if you don't have a punch. Or you can leave it straight. It's up to you. Right, I'm going to now just distress that a little bit. Just to get the white bits on the edges here to disappear. Now, if you're not going to stitch around this, glue right up to the edges. I'm not worried about that bit because you're not going to see it. And then, of course, you can do the same on the inside. Right. I'm now going to stitch along here with my machine. And as I said, 
it's not a requirement it's a decorative finish that i just like to do it's my personal style but guys it's not a requirement all right so i'll be back with you in a shake all right so i have just stitched around there and we're going to get back to this in a moment what i want to do now is stick in our little bit onto this bit quickly now a case of just placing your flap over there just to see where the middle is and of course it's going to come down um, probably about a half an inch so you want to make sure I turn it this way uh, like that just even it over the side here just move it down a bit um, and we want to have it about an inch and then we want to just see where we're going to place this one so I'd place it probably around there really yeah there or thereabouts so I'm just going I can hear Abby at the door I'm just going to move that out the way and draw a little pencil mark there all right now <clears throat> that's where um, I have got a spot in the center it's unbelievable um, but I would then just take my little spongy bit and push that down like that. And now we can just put this through there like this. And we can open up the legs of this one as well. So I know you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm doing exactly the same as I did up there. And then just flatten that bit. Right, um, and now you can see it's nice and flat in there. Now this is where you need a further little disc of paper. It can be square, it can be anything. So let me just grab one quickly. Right, so I've got this little scrap. I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit here. And as I can say, you're not going to see this. So this is going to be on the inside. And then all I want to do is to cover up those two little brad legs so i'm going to take it right to the edge so whatever we put in here so if it's a tag or whatever it's not going to catch on it so that's just going to go over that bit there now it would look better if you use prettier paper but who's going to see no one so there we go see now it's nice and smooth it's like you've put a little plaster on there all right, so we've got that in place. Now we want to stick on our lid. So this is the front. You want to turn it that way and this side here. So the inside at the bottom. And you want to just take your tape or your glue, whatever you have. And you want to just get that. I'm going to just trim that bit there. I'm going to get it straight along the bottom here. now we want to line these up so you want to just put that lid onto the bottom here so i'm lining it up with the it's half an inch half an inch and the great thing about the double-sided tape is that it tells it shows you the sticky line that you need to follow which is good okay there we go so we've got all of that there. How good is that? And now we can start maneuvering this with our fingers. So I just do this gently and I just get it around my fingers here slowly. So it's easily done. If you just bend it softly. And you can see on the side here we've got it's half an inch there and half an inch there like that this one can come over a little bit more there we go and we've got our little pouch perfectly positioned now all you need to do is grab some twine so we do that i've just got some butcher's twine here and this nice teal color and uh, let me just give you a measurement here 
um, it's about 15 inches. So 15 inches of twine. I'm going to just halve it. I'm going to tie this around the top like that. Oops. Um, just get those even. A little bit more this way. Okay, that'll have to do. Uh, tie that around like that. And then what I do is, and there are different ways of doing this. I This is just my personal way. Then I'm going to tie these two together at the end. Make sure that they are nice and even. And then I'm going to just trim that off. And now you've got a little... pocket closure how cute is that right make it a little bit flatter right we're not finished I have got a few bits that I want to put on here so I'm just going to grab my Fabri-Tac uh, quickly I've got some of this beautiful lace from Plum Boutique which I want to just stick onto the bottom here possibly let's stick the flowers on first okay so I've got this lovely die which I got off eBay and it's just one of these um, it doesn't really even have a name flower dye if that helps <laughs> which it doesn't does it but I do love it and it works perfectly with this kit so gotta have this and I thought well let's use that okay so I'm gonna have this here I want to get this like that so we've got that one there. Then I've got a beautiful piece of slightly darker mauve. And uh, this is from the Wildflowers Sizzix. One of my all-time favorites and the very, very first one that I ever bought. And I use this a lot. So we're going to just have a little bit going off this way and don't be afraid to go over the edge of the page you know a little bit of left brain behavior there your creative side so let's do that and this little tricky one i think it came from one of my christmas kits actually dies um festive seasonal flowers but i do love it and this is a very light um mauvey shade so i'm gonna just put that over here like that there we go let's just get that one stuck down on the end there and then this is when we're going to stick down our lacy bits i want it just off the bottom so we'll get that stuck down i love how this journal's coming together so thank you all for following along with me with this um, following the journey with me and every day is a new experience i i hope that it's <laughs> inspiring you that's the word i was looking for I'm just going to get that bit stuck over there like this. Is it straight? Pretty much. This is a beautiful lace from Plum Boutique. It's called Danielle. I think she sold out. I think I'm going to have to hound Vanessa to get some more because I love it. Beautiful Kapura lace. Right. Um, so we've got that there. Just a little bit of trimming here. Probably drive you mad with all my trimming. Okay, and then last but not least, I've got these beautiful paper flowers. Love these. Also, um, I've got flowers on my Amazon favorite list. I've just sewn on an oyster shell button there. And I'm going to just put some glue on the back of this one. And we'll just finish this off. How perfect is that? I think that just does it the job. And then what would life be without a butterfly? Hey Maggie, what would it be? This is for you. Um, let's see. 
uh, where do we want to put you on the leaf there I think so just like that and yes you know it I'm going to get a little pearl as well there we go we're working well today right so I've got all the decoration done which is great we are now going to grab our signature we're going to place it into our box so um, lots of beautiful projects that we've done in here so far and we've got others that will come on to those other pages this is where i'm going to do it so i love this page with the little watering can and i thought right that is perfect to go on here isn't it just so um we're going to stick this down so i'll just i'm not going to make a pocket behind because we have got ample pockets in the front and it's a shame to stick this on the back but i want it in my book so <laughs> we have to do it it has to be done so we'll just get that glued up and we're going to i should have drawn my lines but here we go we're going to get that down we're going to stick it over there like that and there we have it perfect move it down there we go right gosh that's beautiful i love that right i have got two little journal cards that i have put tabs on and backed um with one of the background pages and i wanted to just put some ribbon on to grab them out of here very nicely and the other two i'm leaving empty so that i can fill it with um notes letters or anything else photographs anything else that i want to store in here so i'm just going to undo that like that um, i'm going to have to lift it up and then obviously that would be sewn in so you wouldn't have to do that so you've got plenty of space here now so if we had to put that one in there and this one let's put it in the second one but it could go in any one of these really um but i'll put it in here now you can easily grab these out by the little tabs there um and that is so pretty i love it and then it's not going to squash the ribbons or anything with your little flap at the top and then you've got it all together just like that I'll take my things off how cute is that all right everybody that's our little project for today i hope that you like that um i really do um i think it's a lovely little storage pouch for our journal and as i say if you cut the length of your page that you could make shorter ones of these as well so you know great little gifts perfect in your journal you can't go wrong with that all right, have a beautiful weekend. It looks like the weather is looking wonderful. Um, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I'm sure at least you're appreciating some colder autumn days. I hope it's not too cold yet. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys on Sunday. Um, stay safe. And before I forget, um, I will be putting in my printed vintage um packs which have the vintage sheets i showed you the collage the lace pages the back background sheets and the the cream ones i'll talk about that more on sunday so if you were wanting to know about that and i'll also have the u.s letter size for the vintage collage pages so stay safe everybody and see you all very soon bye bye <music>